Okay, let's take a quick look at this uh, 100 watt uh, semi-flexible uh, monocrystalline uh, solar panel from Lens Sun Solar. Now I've got this in about a week even though Lens Sun is uh, in China they uh, ship from the US and the UK so it arrived in about a week so that was pretty cool and then uh, when it arrived it was uh, triple boxed there's an outer box and then you pull out the Lens Sun packaging and then the solar panel is actually within that and uh, wrapped up in a thick cardboard sleeve and it's wrapped in plastic so it came in pretty good condition so this panel's rated at about 5.8 amps and I had it hooked up uh, to uh, a deep cycle battery that I would use for my RV and um, you know put out you know as expected you know 5.8 amps you know roughly and uh, the open circuit voltage on this is about 20 volts DC and uh, current was about 6 amps and those checked out really well so the panel is functioning performing like it like it should. So there are a couple of features about these uh, lens sun panels that are a little bit different from uh, the other flexible solar panels that I've got installed on my RV. And the first one is this uh, coating they have on it. So unlike some of the other panels, the typical ones you see now which are kind of real shiny, now these have what's called a ETFE uh, material on here which gives it kind of a rubberized, really rugged uh, feel to it and it's really easy to walk on and they clean real easy. Uh, I really like it because they're really similar to the old unisolar panels that I have on there. You really, you know, once they're mounted they just feel like they're indestructible and they hold up to the elements a lot better uh, than your other panels over time. That's what they say anyway. So time will tell but they do feel real solid. And with this particular panel uh, from Lensun, it has an aluminum backing plate to it. So Lensun makes a couple of different ones. This one has an aluminum backing plate on it, kind of designed to uh, dissipate the heat a little bit better. So I should also point out that this is not just bare metal. So it's not bare aluminum on the back of this thing. There is a thin coat of that ETFE material on here. So that will keep it uh, protected from whatever you're mounting it to. So yeah, that's a good idea. Now they also come in a uh, you know, a similar configuration but with a fiberglass backing on them that are really good for maybe an RV roof or, or a boat, a sailboat, and they look really good. Now they have uh, four grommets. There's one grommet on each corner for um, mounting. And uh, the other ones I noticed, you know, the ones I have have maybe six. So and that might be something that's a little bit different. I kind of would have liked another grommet to see a, more, a grommet in the middle here uh, to maybe give you some other mounting options. Overall, I think, you know, it seems like a decent uh, solar panel. It's definitely something different, you know, from the others and probably worth checking out. So that is the 100 watt semi-flexible solar panel from Lensun with the aluminum backing.